After numerous months of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, the Mel team has officially open-sourced all of their lending and borrowing smart contracts on the Cardano network, showcasing what they've been building over the course of the last year. What is going on, Meld Nation? Welcome back to the official DAP Central YouTube channel. My name is Farid and I'm your host here. And as a part of today's video, as I just mentioned, the Meld team has officially open sourced all of their smart contracts for Cardano. So let me just quickly jump over into GitHub here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to the repository, excuse me, down below. Now, the past few months have been excruciating um, for Meld, given the fact that there's just been so much FUD thrown at this team. Most recently, there was a lot of FUD surrounding them launching on Avalanche. Again, they're going to be building their own subnet in their own L1 on that particular network. So since that update has come out, there's just been a lot of questions surrounding them launching initially on Cardano, not delivering on Cardano. But to reassure you guys, Melt has said that they're going to be committed to delivering on Cardano as well as on their own Avalanche Layer 1 subnet. And so last week they released a update basically stating that they'd be releasing their Meld app or their Meld wallet, which will have native Cardano staking support, native Cardano NFT support, as well as a multi-sig feature coming to Cardano. On top of that, they'll be launching on May 3rd, their Avalanche subnet. Now, keep in mind throughout all of this that they're not launching their lending and borrowing protocol just yet. They're currently working with IOG on an issue um, when it comes to Cardano, which is particularly affecting security of the protocol, which is why they're hesitant to launch that particular piece of meld. Now, that doesn't mean that they can't deliver on the other portions in the meantime, and that's exactly what they're doing. And so to reassure the community here as to what they've been building, again, contributing to the Cardano ecosystem, they've now made all of their code open source. So you can now head over to their repository here and you can take a look at exactly how they're building the platform when it comes to lending, borrowing their APIs, anything that you need here when it comes to Meld is now going to be available for the public to see. Now, this also includes diagrams, right, which we can see here are going to be some of the protocol architecture um, pieces, basically documenting exactly how Meld is going to work. Now, when it comes to open source, right, this means that anybody within this community cannot pick up on this. So somebody could theoretically pick up this code here, fork it if they wanted to and build on top of it. Now, this is going to have, I think, some positive pieces here. Number one, it reassures the community. And I think number two, and probably the most um, benefit that they're going to get from this is that people within the community will now have the ability to review this on their own. And hopefully they can contribute and actually make this better for the long term. We've seen a lot of projects that try to keep things close to their chest and do the opposite of open sourcing. And what normally happens is once they release on the mainnet, there's something that they've overlooked or there's something that they may have missed. So with an open source approach, not only can the community be at peace knowing that, you know, what Meld has said that they're building, that they are actually doing that. But number two, when it comes to feedback for Meld, we can now have the general public as well as other teams review their code and provide some insights or potentially um, help them fill any gaps that they may have missed throughout the development process. So again here, huge update. I wanted to just report this to you guys. And there's actually one more thing that I want to mention before I close out today's video. So I mentioned earlier that Meld will be releasing their Meld app as well as their L1 on Avalanche on May 3rd. And as a part of that, they will be attending the official Avalanche Summit, again, which will be taking place on May 3rd. So on the same exact day that they'll be attending the Avalanche Summit, they'll also be releasing the Meld app in their Layer 1 on Avalanche. And so it states here from their official Twitter, Meld is thrilled to be a part of the Avalanche Summit taking place on May 3rd. Don't miss Ken Oling's keynote on opening day as we celebrate our expansion into the Avalanche ecosystem. Now, this will be featuring Pepe Blasco, Nahal, Jedaminas, and Yusuf, who are all going to be part of the Meld team. In closing, expect the unexpected with lots of exciting surprises in store. Now, we're expecting quite a bit here. I think we're expecting the Meld um, bank manager NFTs to drop anywhere between now and May 3rd. Um, but I'll be interested to see exactly what else comes out of this keynote speech. And I'll do my best to keep you guys updated here, whether it's with a stream or with a playback of Ken's speech. 
That is going to take us to today's video. Again, just briefly highlighting the fact that Meld has officially open sourced all of their smart contracts with a link down below in the description for you to check it out on your own if you would like to do so. On top of that, they'll be attending the Avalanche Summit here on May 3rd with some exciting news coming down the pipes. If you guys found this update here to be helpful or insightful, please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me about anything we talked about today or Meld specifically, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.